Hello. I'm good. Thank you. What was the biggest thing you guys knew as a team y'all needed to execute, especially given that Trey and John were both out tonight? Um, it was kind of surprising before the game, you know, we didn't know Trey's going to be out, but uh, um, yeah, as always, you know, the uh, next man mentality. Uh, and uh, I think we talked about uh, um, our defense and our defense in Charlotte, especially. I think we in the second half we were like kind of relaxed and not uh, into the ball, and I think tonight we did a pretty good job. And especially when they try to make their runs in second half, we uh, we were kind of pressuring them and uh, not allowing them to to catch the rhythm. the difference for you on offense tonight after a couple of games where you know you did make the shots seem like you were making a ton tonight yeah we was moving the ball well um we talked about it you know that we we didn't uh play well especially the last game i think at home we play well and a couple of games even before this one i think we um uh, we play well at home you know and we just got to bring it on around on the road same mentality and uh um can relax now no time for that how, how close are you guys to being as consistent as you were last year i mean every game when we win we feel like we're about to get consistent but you know we surprise ourselves <laughs> with the game you know with the games we play and it's just a little runs that, that messes up and even when sometimes something is going bad we shouldn't just drop the whole game because you know we don't shooting well or because we don't move the ball well or we don't play defense well you know we should find that confidence from from defense first and um build from it like we did tonight you know we had some bad runs tonight too but uh i feel like overall overall we played to win the game you know not to uh, do something else you know or just don't care you know i think we were uh, really hit that point sense of urgency Bogey, from the outside looking in, it, it seemed like ball movement was was working a lot better tonight. Did it feel like that for you? Yeah, obviously, you know, we talked about it. Um, and looking at some clips uh, from previous games, you know, we had some games where we moved the ball well. And some games like in Charlotte, you know, the last game we didn't. Probably their defense was more like switching, you know, that, that affects a lot. Um, Memphis wasn't uh, changing their defense a lot. I mean, they tried at the end, but I think we were really hard at that point, and uh, we, was, we were still uh, uh, we were still able to find a mismatch, you know, either on the post or from outside, or and we was hitting shots. So hitting shots makes it also easier. What was the biggest thing defensively? Just it seems like everything was kind of kind of clicked in tonight, especially uh, being able to to get so many turnovers. Yeah, communication. I always talk about communication, and uh, um, you know, uh, right now we have to forget about tonight already, and we we have to keep this keep play the same keep playing the same way, you know, and um, um, hopefully get get better from this game, not go back to you know one step back. Hopefully we go and we make progress. There's a spot like four meters and from the rim, twelve like twelve feet, just inside the free throw line that you go to a lot. And there's always a lot of bodies there, a lot of arms, and they never seem to get into your dribble. And you seem to be able to find a look when it's there or get the ball out of the way when it's there. How do you stay calm when there is that much sort of chaos in that spot? Because it seems like a very busy spot where you do well. Honestly, I know you know my athletic capability and i know i cannot jump over the guys and that's for me unstoppable move you know and i know how to get how to spin and i worked on it a lot you know i use the coaches uh, on practice and i imagine all these situations you know when they die for the ball I, I try to get lower with the handles and uh 
um, try to do spin moves, use the body. I know I'm I'm strong enough to 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 control uh, the players in front of me. And depends if it's a smaller guy, you're trying to make a rich shoot over him. Uh, when it's a taller, you're trying to beat him. So it's it's a game. First question on Zoom goes to Cristo Saltos. Hey, Boggy, great game. First of all, great win. Uh, as coach said before that you are the first option coming off the bench and he gave to you the ball in your hands to make place for yourself, make place for your teammates. What does it mean that confidence for you about your game? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm really trying, you know, you know, if you know me, you know my career, I'm, 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 I don't care only about me and being aggressive and all that uh, coming off the bench. It, it, it is a little bit different role and you have to kind of get yourself going. But um, for me, what really makes me happy is, you know, playing the right way, um, um, you know, trying to build off something and uh, trying to win in the end, you know, playing the making the winning place. That's really what makes me happy. Final question goes to Alexander. Bogdan, čestitam ti si evo Hjere večeri, 30 poena, 700 triple-double u karijeri. Kakve su utjeci sa utaknice? Kako, 700 ti? Um, 700, 700 trojki da si ubacio za kroz sa utaknicom. Jeste velika pobjeda za nas, pogotovo u ovom trenutku. Zadovoljan sam svojom partijom, zadovoljan sam generalno kako smo igrali kao ekipa i kao tim. Hvala, Bogi. Hvala.